So I was here having lunch, just finished my francesinha, and I decided to write what we know about memory and basically the history of studies in memory. Let's start with Hermann Ebbinghaus in uh, the 1800s. He came up with something that we now know as the forgetting curve. So he tested himself with random syllables and tried to remember them after some intervals. And he was one of the first people to propose that after a certain while our memory decays and if we revise something just before it would decay we can retain it longer in our memory, in our brains. So, extending on his work, a reporter, journalist Sebastian Leitner came up with what we know today as the space repetition technique. So, imagine you have different boxes and in each box you want to put things that you're trying to remember. So, let's imagine you studied something today and you put whatever you studied today in flashcards and you put inside box number one, day two. So you can revise them tomorrow. And then you have to revise them a couple of days after, day five, for example, and then day eight and then day 16. The trick is, if you get the answers right, you can move them ahead to the next box. If you get the answers wrong, you have to go back to the first box and revise every day, every second day, okay? So this is how it works. Then we come to, oh, it's windy, we come to Atkinson and Schifrin. They are the ones who came up with the multi-store model. So as we have discussed in some videos, we have three large groups of memory. And the first one is sensory memory that lasts about a second, less than a second. So whatever input you're getting from the environment, if you decide to pay attention, and sometimes it's not up to you, it's involuntary, you can transfer that information into the short-term memory. If you rehearse long enough, you can transfer it to the long-term memory. And for you to rescue that from the long-term memory into your short memory, short-term memory so you can talk about it, that's what we call retrieval. Finally, Alan Badley, has uh, done some work on the working memory. <laughs> yes, he has done work on the working memory, which is a type of short-term memory. And he divided uh, this into three categories, phonological loop, visual spatial sketch badge, and episodic buffer, all controlled by the central executive. So anything that involves sounds, is processed by the phonological loop. Everything that involves uh, walking around or images that's processed by the visual spatial sketch badge. And the episodic buffer has to do with memories related to episodes in your life, experiences, okay? So if you are trying to process something that involves different, two different things, that's great. That's actually uh, what we know today as dual coding. So if you are trying to encode the information using the two different processes, you're going to make it more memorable. Okay, so see you later.